Hey everybody, uh, Miss Hor and I are going to be filming our yellow and orange belt requirements for our youth and teen MMA program. We're going to start off with the grappling and we're going to go over our throw for this cycle, which is called Osoto Atochi. Osoto means major outside in Japanese, so I'm just going to have Cora stand with her feet square, okay? So we want to attack, if the foot is, if they're square, we can attack either side, or we attack the forward foot, okay? But just here, the outside we're talking about is right here, okay? So <clears throat> same thing here. Now, when we start grappling, there are barriers, and we have to get past them. And one thing we do a lot when we sweep is we will push somebody's elbow in like this, right? We do this on our butterfly sweeps, our scissor sweeps. So what we're going to do is we're going to start <coughs> just like this. We're going to kind of be in a grappling position. I'm going to step step, okay? And I, I, I call this the club, right? I go here on her head and I push in. That's the off balance. And I step into the Osoto, getting around that elbow, okay? Now how we're going to do this in class is she has a foot forward, right? Here we're both standing technically in a southpaw stance, that's fine. We could both also stand in the orthodox stance. This is typically an offside technique, right? We usually in judo do it on this side, okay? So we attack what foot is forward is what we're gonna remember for is the student, okay? So Miss Cora, we're both in the orthodox stance. I'm gonna step in, I'm gonna club her here. I step with my outside foot. Now this foot comes up and the otoshi getting down. What happens, guys, is a lot of times when you throw somebody and they're turned away from you, they're taught to hip in, to escape. And when they do that, it gets them flat in side mount. Okay? Now turn back on your side, Miss Cora. When I, when I come down, I put my hand here. That way that kind of stops her from going to the turtle position. Right? Try and go uh, that way. See, she, her hips run into my elbow. It's a wedge. So that's how we can follow up with side control. So, Miss Cora, let's go ahead and do this side, right? This is how we typically do this in judo. Again, this is the on side for this technique, but this is a southpaw stance. So we're doing MMA striking. This might feel a little awkward for some of us, but we need to remember, attack what foot is forward, right? And we can do that from a stance or we can do that from square, okay? So here, look how that becomes my wedge. I go under her head. When she turns to get back, I've got her flat. Okay, let me say one more thing about the leg. Put that foot forward. Okay, even if I just have my toe on the mat, my big toe, the motion I'm doing with my leg is like a kickstart, like that, okay? So when I come in here, that's the motion we're looking for with our leg, like that. Okay, that's the Atoshi motion that we're looking for. Lots of ways we could use our leg to finish that technique, but that's what, the one that we are working on for this cycle. Okay, so that's Osoto Atoshi. Be sure you work on those details.